Having forked out billions in health insurance related costs, the Insurance Association of Jamaica is calling for more public education so that Jamaicans can take better care of their health. TVJ's Giovanni Dennis has more. Eat better, drink more water, and exercise more. It seems simple and inexpensive, but thousands of Jamaicans need more information about basic health practices. That's according to Orville Johnson, the executive director of the Insurance Association of Jamaica. He says the insurance industry paid over 17 billion Jamaican dollars on insurance claims in 2016, but the association would much prefer if Jamaicans take better care of their health. So while we pay the claims and we are standing ready to pay the claims under our contract, we would prefer more persons to take their health in hand so it doesn't come to a case where they have a critical illness. As a result, over the years we have been putting on these health fairs. Today we are doing it at KPH so that we can get people to do their blood pressure checks, blood sugar checks, cholesterol and other checks. Mr. Johnston insists that persons will make better choices if they have more information about non-communicable diseases. We don't have the kind of resources to fund the, the health system the way we want, the public health system. So persons need to take things in their own hands. The insurance industry is a major contributor to the health system in Jamaica, the public health system. He was speaking at a health fair at the Kingston Public Hospital, marking the culmination of the 240th anniversary of the healthcare facility yesterday. In the meantime, CEO of the KPH and the Victoria Jubilee Hospitals, Errol Green, says despite the pressures, the hospital is doing unprecedented work. He says the first blood transfusion surgery to an unborn child was successful. But that's not the only thing. I've seen persons come in literally dead, no heartbeat, no pulse, and they walk out, you know, walk on their own feet. And, and, and leave the hospitals. He also had a word of encouragement to the young volunteers who assisted the less fortunate at the health fair. What pleases me and warms my heart more than anything else is to see the millennials out in their numbers. Um, you look around and see the number of young people who are volunteering. We normally have a group, they call themselves the Bashi Bus, that they would come and do, um, they would do money and pedi for the less fortunate. Giovanni Dennis, TVJ News. At least